Ah, Cesar, Cesar. Cesar, Cesar. Uh, we are at 1,600 users now. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Let's get a zoom up, Dave. Cesar, Cesar. Celebrating 1,600 people now on the V1 and TaskMagic platform. So excited. I can't believe we have that many people. Um, more to come, I know it. I can already foresee. I can already foresee everyone. But, so cool. Celebrate, amazing team. Kyle, Vinny, me, other people that have helped that are no longer here. Uh, it's all in building a team. But, I got a question um, earlier today about what an investor wants to see, okay? Um, in order to cut a check. Because I had to think about this. What would, like fuck what an investor would see, right? Like I've only raised a little over a million dollars in venture capital, but I've spoken with almost 200 VCs and like angels. So I have an idea, right? Uh, and just in my experience, a lot of investors, especially the ones I've talked with, which are upper tier, mid tier, and lower tier, it kind of runs the gamut, is they want to see what you can do with nothing. Or if not nothing, very little. So how efficient you are being with the cash that you've either been given, that you have some skin in the game, right? Like you've put in your own 20, 30, 40, 50 grand, or even, or, 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 Zoom, Dave, zoom in, zoom, or, 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 like this. <laughs> I don't mean to direct you. <laughs> you direct it, David. Cesar, Cesar. So, you're in here, you're thinking, you're having a conversation with an investor, and they wanna say, cool, how much money, how much capital has been in, invested in the business? You say, I put 40 grand on my own credit card. I'm not saying do that. I've into it, I'm into mine at the beginning stages for way more than that. At least 70, I think, of my own credit card. At least, um, and hatefully, my wife's credit cards. <laughs> Mine and my wife's credit cards. Um, I love you. So they wanna see that you have some form of skin in the game, either sweat equity, like you've built a lot with nothing, or you've put some skin in the game, then the question becomes, what have you built and how have you executed with that 20, 30, 40, 50 grand initial capital? Or if you get in a top accelerator like we did launch, Jason Calacanis, shout out, says it, says it. You get the first 100K, what have you done with it? What have you built with it? How much traction have you got with it? And they'll just do that exercise. So I always ask myself, if I were going to turn investor and start investing checks, what would I invest in? I want to see what you've built with close to nothing. Or comparatively speaking, you've raised a million and this other comparable team that I might write a check into raised five million. How did those two things compare with what you've built and how you've executed with it? That's what I would see. That's what I know a lot of investors want to see, especially with the rise in no code and low code tools like I'm building at V1 and Task Magic. So we've built this platform where anyone can go in and start building for free. And then when you launch, it's 20, 30, 40 bucks, right? If you don't want to make that kind of investment, like you're not even into it for 50 bucks or 100 bucks or 100 or 200 dollars, you're not going to get a fucking check from an investor, right? I've met so many no coders, people who don't code, who use no code tools, or who really abuse no code tools, that they don't want to pay 50 bucks for this or 80 bucks. You'll never raise venture capital if you're not willing to put in your skin into that game. I know investors and advisors who tell you that you need to have 25K in. If you're not willing to spend 20 grand or get a fucking credit card, they want to see that you have some risk level and you have some tolerance for it, meaning you can execute against it. So all that said, then it becomes how efficient with the cash are you? So can you come in and take that 
800 grand or 900 grand or 100 grand and what can you build with it that someone else couldn't. With all these no-code tools like Typeform, Airtable, V1, Softer, Bubble, what don't they don't they don't go fucking hire a dev shop. They want to see what you can do with it. Can you build a team with it? They want to see what you can do and who you can get to work for you for next to nothing. They want to see what you can do with nothing. They want to see how resourceful you can be. That's my advice today anyway. But type in a, I don't have the fucking computer. <laughs> type in a way, oh. type in a way every day for you. Do, do that, Dave. Do, do this, right? Look at the fucking mic, man. God damn it. I need a lab on this thing now, I think. Um, the last video, I, you, I, could he I could hear myself swallow. <laughs> it was the most annoying fucking thing on earth.